So now I have the slip ring in this bearing cup, which will go in here. The wires are coming out on each side, and I just beep through them all, so contact is there. But what I still don't know, of course, if it will keep the contact while rotating. Now I shorten the orange and yellow wire and the other side I hooked up the multimeter. And now when I turn it, it keeps the contact. Although the resistance sometimes goes up. Looks okay. Now I hook the gimbal back up to the airframe of the, of the octocopter. And now you can see why I did the whole slip ring thing because that's the magnet that will rotate or yeah, stay in position while the gimbal rotates. And here I have my little housing with the sensor that's the hall sensor or the hall based encoder so this goes here and let me also show you the pitch axis so underneath this PCB there's another magnet for the pitch axis and made a little cover and the last one roll behind this cover now let's turn it off So now it's not working with the help of the encoders yet. And draws a current of over two amps. Now I turn on the remote. Seems to work. The thing is now uh, I have to test it for a while. Leave it spinning. So I can be sure that the contacts will always actually contact in the slip ring. Because if not, it would be really bad. But before I let it turn for a while, I will show you how to set up the encoders. So, this is based on Alexmos um, controller, like I said, and you probably know this that without encoders, it's the gimbal will freak out if you do stuff like this. It really doesn't like it, and yeah, it will lose the sink or the position and it will also draw a lot of current. Next thing we will do is calibrate electric field. We 
give you a couple seconds to move each axis and this time it will read out the, the encoders and yeah, measure the values and now it's done and yeah now you can force it around it doesn't care anymore no freaking out it's like a rubber brand now current is now down to just over an amp here you see the amount of power that's used to, uh, for stabilization so only when I move it around it needs power as long as it's balanced it won't need a lot so this is also an indicator how well you balance the mechanics so to find out if the slip ring really works for many turns, not just one or a couple. I'm using the scripting tab in the Simple BGC software. So, what I'm going to do is I will let it spin the yaw axis with 400 degrees per second for 10 seconds and then immediately switch the direction and do it all over again and again and again and yeah let's see if it works so now I lined this pipe with the rubber thing and let's see if it will stop at exact this position after the script be possible without the encoders. I mean, you will never need the speed, but um, it's also a thing of precision. Well, almost. <laughs> 